this exercise, we're just going to use the tipping wheel to create um, a 90 degree or as far up to trap the, uh, the wire as possible, okay? And how to do that is each piece of equipment has some play in it or backlash. What you need to do is take up the backlash in whatever piece of equipment you have. So what I like to do is just bring it down so it has tension on it. Okay. I rotate around five o'clock on the uh, rotation there. I grip the wheel and if I can't tug it out, I got enough tension on it. Okay. And if I don't have enough tension on it, it'll slip right out. Okay. If I put too much tension on it, it'll leave a, a dig mark on the back side of the panel. So it'll overstretch already. Okay. So go through this again. We'll set the pressure. Now, now that we have the pressure set, I want to be able to keep my eye on the point where it traps the metal. Okay. So in my head, I'm going to center line between the two okay and when I do a full stroke I don't want my head bobbing around like this because that throws my alignment off okay and every time it goes off you track differently okay so I'm, I feel comfortable in that position I'm right handed right foot forward keep my balance my third hand is the, the machine itself so I bring it back to about five o'clock in rotation o'clock. If I go too far, let's say three o'clock and bring it down to six, you'll see how far it pulls the, the sheet into the metal. Okay? It brings it in an inch. That's an exaggeration. Okay? So I'll, what I want to do is just get enough tension on it that it holds it there. Okay? Bring the palm of your hand as close to the bottom die as possible and give it a kick up 10 to 20 degrees. Okay? That sets the edge. And that is the angle that you want to continue all the way through the sheet. So it brings it up 10 or 20 degrees that whole distance. Okay? Same thing as when you complete the uh, cycle, put the palm up as close to the die as you can and finalize the kick. Okay? You'll notice that my hand has got the material back here. I get, I've got good torque on it. I can follow the line easily. And I'm not having to move my hand four or five times. Okay, and it feels comfortable. Okay, here we go. see there's not really much jerking action going on as long as you get your full stroke in the equipment before you start now again that's my third hand I usually grab the sheet put my palm as close to the die as possible and give it a nice tight tick kick up and finish okay and it should be as crisp when I started and crisp when I finish Okay, so here we go again, five o'clock. Try and grab it on the same spot, grabs it, give it another 15 degrees, and follow through. Just like anything else, you'll have to practice this three or four hundred times. Just kidding. The more you practice, though, the better it, it, the flow will feel better. Okay, kick up. And you definitely won't be able to do it in one, one sweep.
question's always been how far can you go as far up as you can push it onto the face of the tipping wheel. Probably one more pass. And typically the last pass, the front of the wheel scrubs the face of your panel and it basically tracks itself. So much like doing the, the tip on the manually with the hammer, remember how you, if you didn't set the edge properly with the hammer, it would swoop on you. This has stayed fairly, fairly tight radius, okay? And it's almost 90. Okay. Who's up?